All right, guys, Bassville 96, you're going to be doing a boat tour video of my Bass Tracker Pro 170 boat. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this is my Bass Tracker Pro 170. Just got this this year. Well, I got it last winter, actually, but I just got to use it this year because I bought it... Uh, last november but uh pretty solid boat overall it's my second boat actually i don't know i didn't get i don't think i have any videos of my old boat i only had it for a short period of time and it was just kind of a piece of crap but this thing served me well i fish a ton of tournaments out of this thing i'm just going to show you guys around up on the front deck here we have the uh motor guide trolling motor it's a 70 pound thrust digital series and uh this thing kills it freaking moves this boat faster than you would ever believe but uh Picked this up for 400 bucks, pretty solid deal. I actually bought it from AP Bass and Alex Perrick, shout out. Uh, have a really old graph on here, this came with the boat. Uh, doesn't even have water temperature, just got just has the depth on there, but uh, Pro Series 1000 Eagle Fish Finder. Nothing special, have an anchor on here, don't use that too much. Uh, me and my dad actually built this right here. We extended the deck, just have an extra storage compartment there. We have an extra storage compartment right here as well. It's uh, 3,700 boxes, all that good stuff. Up with the console here, we have the steering wheel. We have our flasher, which actually works, surprisingly. Uh, lights, interior lights, uh, our build system, and our, air, our uh, live oil aeration system. Used to have a radio, this actually just broke. Nothing special there. Pretty standard stuff here. Gauge, none of the gauges work at all. The only thing that works is the flasher, so nothing special. We have some nice storage in the seats. I keep the anchor for the front. Never really use that. A couple rod holders that I never installed. And uh, just a buoy right there. Same thing over here. I have the fire extinguisher, a couple extra spark plugs, and an impeller and whatnot. Decent amount of storage. I put tackle boxes and stuff in there too. And then sitting right here, we got one big live well. You can move this around and divide it if you want to. Usually I just keep it open though, because most of the tournaments I fish are team tournaments. Nothing special. Ah. Back here we have the 60 horsepower Evinrude. 60 horsepower Evinrude right here, guys. I had another 60 horse Evinrude and that thing blew up on me after, I don't know, first four times I had it out right after I bought the boat, thing blew up on me, so I had to pick this up off Craigslist. Got a pretty decent deal on that. So far, so good. And then back here we got the battery box, got a Skeeter on board, uh, charger, three bank charger for my batteries, one, two, and then third one's back there. We got this nifty paddle right here in case your trolling motor gives out on you or something. Overall, it's not the nicest boat around, but this thing gets the job done. I cannot complain, guys, so stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy the next episode.